welcome everyone, I'm Wee Jun, Principal Engineer with Synergen OG. In this video, I'll be talking about Hazel, specifically what it is and how do we conduct one. Hazop is among the most well-recognized risk assessment tools, having been established since the 1960s. Essentially, it is a brainstorming discussion to answer these simple questions. What could go wrong in a process? And what can we do about it? What sets Hazop apart from more free-flowing discussions is its structured nature. Hazop uses a set of guidewords to identify hazards with a facilitator to guide the review team. How do we go about doing a HAZOP though? Well, the HAZOP process essentially involves five main steps. In step number one, we look to gather information and define the scope to serve as the foundation for the review. The questions we look to answer in this stage could include, what systems are in the plant? What are the normal modes of operation? What are the process conditions of the systems? Are there sufficient details in the process drawings? Do we have the right reference materials such as operating manuals, course and standards, and design documentation? In step number two, we now break down our plan to more manageable sections, otherwise known as nodes. This example shows a fairly complex process diagram involving multiple vessels, pumps, and heat exchangers. By breaking it down as shown here, we allow for greater focus to be placed on specific equipment and their associated hazards. Node definition relies heavily upon the experience from the facilitator and the team during the preparation stage. In step number three, we define the guide words which are formed by the combination of deviations and parameters. Deviations are abnormal conditions whilst parameters refer to system characteristics. By combining them, we wind up with guide words such as reverse flow, more level, high pressure, less temperature. Based on each guide word, the team can then brainstorm related hazards. For example, here are some common hazards typically applicable to the guide word of low flow or low level. Moving on to step number four, this involves assembling the right team, which should have a good blend of knowledge and experience. The team can include people from engineering, management, and also third party experts where necessary. It's also recommended to include persons from operational backgrounds, as they often provide a more practical, hands on view. The team is led by a facilitator who should be independent from the project but have good working knowledge of the process to be reviewed. Finally, with all of these elements in place, we are now ready to gather and start our hazard, working through all of the nodes and the guide work systematically. That concludes my sharing for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this information useful. See you in the next one.